Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Stone Mountain, back with some more gameplay from Star Wars Battlefront. We've got about 40 seconds. This is courtesy of AMD. This is on PC gameplay, which I still really can't tell too much of a difference between the PS4 and PC, which is kind of good. It's showing that the PS4 is really getting a lot of love from this, but also this could be a fact, due that this was posted to their Facebook page. Might not have the best uh, quality on there, but regardless, this was posted to EA's Facebook page. I wanted to show a couple gadgets that we've seen here. There's been some more gameplay coming out for this, but really nothing too dramatically new from what we've learned so far from E3. We did get to see a glimpse of one of the lock-on rocket launchers, which I'll talk about, as well as this orbital strike, and then briefly an interview with one of the lead developers talking about a game mode. But look at this orbital strike. <laughs> you... This is something that would be a battle pickup, and the way the battle pickups are working in this is you'll pick up orbital strikes like this. This is how you get into the at, -AT walkers, as well as being a Jedi, all of those things. It's based on these power-ups that you'll just pick up on the map, but look at this airstrike! Now, this is in a mission that we're watching here, and this is just against AI. It's a separate mode against waves of enemies, but... That thing would be extremely powerful in multiplayer. Uh, the other thing that we saw from this clip was this lock-on missile. And this is actually something that you can bring in as one of your three uh, perks or what they call star cards in this. And you see in the bottom right, that left icon is what's refilling. That's what he just shot out. And it's actually reloading extremely quickly. Now, we've seen a lot of different ones. Uh, missile Barrage, the Jetpack, obviously, Personal Bubble Shields, which you use it and it takes away the charges. You only have five of them going into a game. But this is something that we hadn't seen before. Being able to take down those little ATST walkers, extremely powerful against that and very fast reload. From this clip, not too much new. It's actually the game mode Walker Assault, which they've been showcasing. I've talked a little bit about. You get to see some of the user interface in the top there. Confirms there's going to be two ATAT -AT Walkers, and those are actually the health indicators. And on defense, you're going to be trying to destroy these things. In terms of gameplay, they've showed us pretty much everything they will now. Everything that was in the alpha is kind of public. These were some of the final things that I personally hadn't seen yet. I thought I'd bring to you guys especially. But when I was doing some research on this, reading some articles, checking out some videos on EA's Facebook page, they had this video that had, it was 30 seconds, short interview with one of the senior producers, very little views, talking about battle mode. But then we have the Star Wars Battlefront missions, mm -hmm. and in those, we have a specific battle mode where you can choose to play the hero that you want to play okay. uh, versus another player or versus AI. Battlefront's going to have a core multiplayer with a bunch of different modes, but in addition, they're going to have this separate thing, which is kind of like their alternative to single player since they're not going to have that, which is missions. One of the missions we've seen is what you're seeing on screen now. It's survival mode. You got 10 waves to survive against. You can play co-op. You can play by yourself. This is against bots. But one of the other missions she was talking about is battle mode, where we can play as whichever Jedi that we want to, and she specifically says you can play against another player or AI. So if you wanted to just go into your own mode with bots, you could do that, or you can go in with another player. Now, it just mentions one player, so I don't know if we can have a full-on war <laughs> with only Jedi, but looking into this some more, I did find a page on their website talking about the missions, obviously survival, as well as they call these other ones battles, hero battles, and trials. Trials sounds like some time trial stuff. I don't know exactly what that would be, but there's these battles, which I would think would be the AI, and hero battles, which I'm hoping there would be a lot of people there. It doesn't necessarily specify. I really hope, at least in multiplayer, if not here, then in the main multiplayer, they'll have some type of giant hero war where we could do like a 5 or 6v6 with all these heroes. Hopefully, there's a lot of heroes and villains in here, but that would be pretty epic, and I'm excited that they're putting a lot of emphasis into these side missions as well. There'll be an opportunity to go against some bots. It's kind of a side thing. You'll have the survivor mode, which does sound awesome. I don't know how it's actually going to play out having a finite amount of rounds that you can go to. Obviously, the side thing with the zombies was super popular for Call of Duty, but you can go to infinite rounds in that. At the same time, this might be a cool alternative where they could even bring in some new stuff, like this battles mode. I hope there's a lot of other really cool stuff with it, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm personally really really excited for this game there hasn't been too much new information just a lot of the same stuff keeps on churning so if there is anything new i'll let you guys know but thanks so much for watching i'll see you soon this is cellmouse64 over and out